So Furman outscored the Cavaliers 30 to 17 over the final 11 minutes of regulation and route to their one point win. Taking advantage of the perimeter, Furman shot four of nine from three in that span while Virginia failed to make a shot from beyond the arc. Before the stretch, Virginia led by 12 and they had a 96% chance to win per ESPN analytics. Hello, Sean Farnham. We're not even like a full day into this tournament and we've already had two stunners. Let's let's start with where we started the show and the 16 point favorites in Arizona. What went wrong for the Wildcats? Well, I mean, you, you came into this tournament and you're thinking Arizona had a great non conference. They beat everybody that lined up against. They beat Creighton. They beat Indiana. They beat Tennessee. Uh, but the question mark was about the guards and the guards struggled. Uh, for Arizona today. Kirk Kreese is just one of seven, and, uh, and together the backcourt was two of 14 from deep. And, and then when you look inside, that's the strength of the Wildcats, and they were outscored by eight in the paint by the Princeton Tigers. What the Tigers did a really excellent job was they played position defense. They stayed between the basket and their man. They played the percentages. They rebounded the ball well. They actually were plus one on the glass. And considering all the length that Arizona had, it was Princeton that blocked six shots, and the Wildcats only won. The tougher, more physical team in this game won, and you sat there and we listened to the sound of Matt Alaco. He's the grandson of one of the great high school coaches in California State history, Frank Alaco. No surprise, he's the guard out on the floor for the Princeton Tigers, executing and helping lead this team uh, to an upset victory in the opening round. And then there's the Virginia Furman game, and obviously Virginia has, has, has sort of been here before. And their fifth-year senior, Kihei Clark, is absolutely gut-wrenching to watch that last sequence of events. In your eyes, what happened there? Well, look, Kihei Clark has made so many important plays, including in that national championship run that they had in 2019. Uh, but there's a couple things that went wrong. One is against the pressure, they threw the ball was inbounded. They threw a negative pass back to Kihei Clark uh, along the end line. And as, a, as any level, and any coach will tell you, when there's pressure, don't pass the ball back towards your basket, in particular pinning your guard along the end line, coffin corner, as coaches want to call it. And then there was just poor recognition. Uh, Kia Clark is experienced enough to know before that ball is inbounded, do I have a timeout? Uh, if he would have called the timeout in that scenario, they could have taken the ball back out of bounds, maybe positioned themselves a little bit better uh, to end that game. Uh, and instead, he, he just chucked it up in the air. I stood up in my house and was going, what is he doing? Uh, and then after the game, I, I saw the post-game reaction from the Furman player walking in the locker room saying, what was he doing? He just threw it in the air. Uh, and, and that was an ill-advised pass, to say the least. It's heartbreaking because of all the great plays that he's made over the course of his career. But for Furman, this is a team that came out and did exactly what they wanted to do. They were plus 24 points from beyond the arc, the three-point line. They made their shots. Virginia did not. They were 2 of 12 from deep. Uh, they, they were okay with the tempo and pace into the game. They didn't feel like they were uncomfortable at any point in time. They made great stretch runs to end the first half, and then they closed this thing out down the stretch with another great run. So, like I said, we're not done with this first night of the tournament. So, Sean, don't go anywhere as we get a few more games ending up here. We're, we're going to hit you I'm here for you again. all night. Okay, I'm here. Good. Don't worry. I'm, I'm, glad I got you. I'm glad you've got nothing else to do. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.